weekend, kids. We're so excited to have you with us. Today, we're going to have awesome worship time with me, Teacher Gabby, an awesome Bible story with Teacher Grace, and tons of fun along the way. Okay, kids, now we're going to enter into a time of worship. So our first song we're going to do is Jesus Loves Me. So everybody get ready to copy me. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. For the next part, we don't wanna hide it under a bushel, so it's no. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And for our last verse, we're not gonna let Satan blow it out, okay? So everybody get ready. Don't let Satan eat out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. And we're gonna end again with our light shining. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Awesome job, guys! So for our last song we're gonna do is we're gonna do the Lord's Army. And we're gonna do this three times, and each time it's gonna get faster. Okay, so everybody, get ready. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir! I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir! I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir! I may never march in the infantry, Ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir! Awesome job, guys! So now we're going to do it a little bit faster. So everybody get ready. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. Woo. We're going to do it one more time super fast. Ready? 
I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. Whoop. Good job, boys and girls. And now we're going to have an awesome Bible story with Teacher Grace. Great job singing, boys and girls. Before we get started on our story, let's say a prayer. So fold your hands, close your eyes. Dear Lord, thank you for this day and for this time that you've given us to learn about Jesus. Thank you for keeping us all safe during this time. And please may you help us to listen and to learn more about you through this. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Okay. Today, we have a story about two of Jesus' followers. Their names were Peter and John. Now, Peter and John were some of Jesus' closest followers, and they were still his servants after he was gone. They loved to serve Jesus, and right now, they were going to the temple in order to pray. See, prayer is one of the ways that you can serve Jesus, because Jesus loves to hear from us. Well. When they were on their way to the temple, they met a man outside there. This man was disabled. That means he couldn't do something that lots of other people can do. For instance, he couldn't walk. This man had been disabled since birth. So he couldn't walk ever since he was a little child. Can you imagine not being able to walk? Because he couldn't walk, he couldn't get a job. And so he had to beg for coins outside of the temple. The people that gave him coins were helping him and serving God by doing it. Because God loves it whenever we help those that are less fortunate than us. Or those that we can't, those that can't help themselves. This man though, do you think it's weird that God would make somebody that was hurting or that couldn't do stuff? Sounds kind of mean, doesn't it? But God doesn't do anything without there being a reason for it. And God was going to bless this man. See, Peter and John were there for a reason, and they were supposed to meet this man. See, this is Peter and John talking to the disabled man. Well, when they met him, they saw him, and they felt really bad for him. But they didn't just want to give him coins. They knew that God had so much more power than just for them to give him coins to help. So they told the man, in the name of Jesus, get up and walk. And this is what happened. He's walking. See, God doesn't do anything without there being a reason for it. This man was born disabled, so that way in the future, Peter and John could heal him and the power of God could be shown, as well as the love of Jesus. Jesus doesn't want to see any of us suffer. He wants us all to know that he loves us and that he wants to help us. So see, Peter and John helped him to his feet and he was so surprised and so happy. They went into the temple together in order to worship. He was so happy and everyone was so surprised to see him like that. They said, is that the man that's been sitting outside this whole time? The disabled man dancing, singing, praising Jesus? Peter and John said, yes, it is. Well, the whole crowd was amazed. They said, Peter and John have healed this man. Peter and John though said, no, 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 no. We didn't heal this man. It was God that healed him. The power of God is the only thing that could perform a miracle like that. Peter and John were just servants of God listening to what he told them to do. And they were glad to serve God in whatever way that he told them. No matter how crazy it seemed, whether it be maybe listening to your mommies and daddies and picking up your clothes from the floor, or whether it be God telling somebody to tell a disabled man to get up and walk. God wants us to serve him and he loves us so much that he died on the cross for our sins. Jesus came as a servant 
and he first served us. He served his disciples, and then he served the whole world by dying for us on the cross. He loves us, and he wants us all to know that no matter what happens, he will always be there for us, and he wants to help us if we believe in him. That's our story for today, boys and girls. So now, Teacher Gabby is going to pray for us. I hope that you all remember that Jesus loves you and that we should all be serving him with gladness. Okay, kids, so we're going to close with a final prayer and we're going to do our five finger song. Okay, everybody, look at me. I have five fingers on each hand, ten fingers all together. I put them this way when I pray, ten fingers all together. Okay, now let's pray, boys and girls. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for the amazing lesson we just learned from Teacher Grace. We thank you that you use each and every one of us according to your purpose. Lord, thank you so much that you give us the opportunity to serve you as your children and be able to worship you every day. We love you, Jesus. We ask this all in your precious name, and everybody says, Amen! Thanks for joining us again this week, boys and girls. We hope you had a great time learning about Jesus with us, and we hope to see you next week. Bye!